The issue, and this is interesting because it adds a dimension that I hadn't come across. I mean, I was starting out looking at a very stark, very stark picture that there are countries that are not going to be here in 20, 30 years' time. Uh, I was speaking yesterday to a representative of the Kiribati Islands, which are shortly to be uninhabitable because of climate change. Um, Where are from, they? I can't remember. Kiribati. The Pacific. Right. Well. And, we, they, and the Maldives is always mentioned in this context. Yes. Um, what I was told, and I, I must point this out, that it's not they're going to be overwhelmed by the seawater. It's just that their drinking water will become non-drinkable. And as a result, nobody, well, perhaps a handful of people will still live there. An entire nation will become refugees. There are parts of India, parts of Africa where, you know, you, you watch a sci-fi programme and it goes, um, uh, Doctor, can we go out? And, and the message comes over, you know, the, the, there's, there's nothing out there that supports life. There will be parts of this planet like that soon and people will die, not in their hundreds, but in their tens of thousands. And where I was going and where a lot of, lawyers are now starting to look is not just negligence but fraud and i'm afraid um uh, sort of uh, human rights violations we've had dire warnings in the past i think it was in 2005 that the world wildlife fund i don't know if you remember this said that the arctic ice cap would melt within five years and the famous one which i wrote down was in 2009 prince charles said um we've got a hundred months to prevent irreversible damage to the planet because of uh, of climate change now either we're in the, and that didn't happen so either we're in the field of crystal ball gazing and clairvoyance and and all this kind of spine tingling prophecies or we've got robust fact and it's and people listen well some people listen to prince charles a hundred months to change the world nothing happened a hundred months later do we say well okay we, we have to prosecute him for 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 fielding such a view when did prince charles say that in 2009 Nine. He was slightly early. I suspect what he was going after, and we've just passed that date in 2007. In 2017, we passed the point at which we could have stopped 1.5 degrees of climate warming. I suspect that's what he was going for. Yeah, we have now it, passed it, that point. How are we right. sure?